Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of Ridge Creek, right off I-10, kind of right in between Bernie and San Antonio area. And the reason I'm out here is because I have an out-of-state buyer who just got a beautiful home under contract, and they asked me to do a neighborhood driving tour of the community. So, uh, let's go for a ride. A realtor drive. <laughs> All right, this is a gated community. I don't know if there's actually gonna be anybody in the little shed there. It might be just for appearances, but a beautiful community. As I mentioned, you are right off of I-10, so there will be some road noise depending on what side of the community you're at, but it does give you really quick, easy access if you want to go to world-class shopping of La Quintera, the rim, I've mapped it out. It takes six minutes to get to La Quintera from here, and it's about seven or eight minutes to get to uh, downtown Bernie. Let's go ahead and poke our head in here, see if there's, yeah, just an empty room. So I guess if, uh, we've got a restroom there. So if someone did want to have a guard in there, they could. But you do have uh, your keypad or fob, whatever needed to get through this gate. All right, let's go ahead and load up in my truck and uh, go drive this neighborhood. All right, we are now loaded up in the truck. Get my seatbelt on and uh, go tour this little neighborhood. This isn't a big neighborhood, but it is a quite quaint neighborhood. Uh, some nice topography. A um, couple of builders that build in this neighborhood. You do have a nice little ravine that we're driving over. No worry about flooding because these houses are quite a ways above the ravine. Um, Rialto, which is the house that my client is buying, um, is their model home is still open and it's a beautiful house. I highly recommend you kind of go check it out. Rialto, I've been so far very impressed with them. This is right where I'm at right now is going to be where your mailbox is at. If uh, for my client who, let me go and back up, sorry, traffic here. Um, and I will turn the camera so you can see there's the mailboxes. That's for my client who's buying in here. That's where your mail's gonna be at. But yeah, I've been quite impressed. We just did the inspection on the house that my client is buying and the inspector was quite impressed with uh, Rialto and their build quality and not uh, of course there's no perfect house the inspector found a few small things but nothing major that's always a good peace of mind feeling but uh, this neighborhood is almost completely closed out there's a few lots that are still being worked on but in the next eight months this neighborhood is going to be pretty much done um, they currently only have three houses left to sell in this neighborhood um, and I believe they've all started construction. But there's some beautiful views on um, both sides of this community because you're up on a ridge. Going down the other side, I'm just kind of driving the neighborhood just so you can get a feel for it. Uh, no amenity center but I know there's uh, talking to some of the sales reps that a lot of people have a little Facebook group and they get together and they do stuff in their houses. If you're looking to put a pool in, it's kind of a hit and miss as far as how deep the limestone is in this community because if that limestone's right up on top, yeah, it's great for foundation issues. You're not gonna have any foundation issues at all. But uh, digging into that foundation, that limestone will cost a little bit more to put a pool in. It's not impossible, just be prepared. It's gonna cost more. But this is kind of the back section of the community. You can see these homes have already been sold and mostly built. And like I said, you've got a few lots that they're already been sold on and uh, getting ready to be to start the build process. Kind of coming around 
I hope this isn't a dead end, but it looks like it is. All right, let's go ahead and loop back around. Like I said, there's uh, rumors that a house could be coming back on the market soon. And uh, for my client that is coming in in two weeks, I definitely want to show you that one. She's coming in from California. Looking forward to helping her, but I do want to show her this community. The sales rep said it would be large enough to put a pool in and still have room for your dogs, but um, it's worth a look. That's all I'll say. Just see if that house is a good fit. And price wise, that house that might be coming back on the market might be in the low 600s. So we'll just have to kind of see. And there's a couple other communities in this area might be good fit for you. But uh, as you can see, a lot of these houses are already sold. Scarcity is definitely an issue as these communities close out. All right. Oh, did we get another cul-de-sac here? Yep. But as you can tell, there's some beautiful homes in this community. Oh, that's a big one right there. Like I said, definitely, if, if you've been watching my videos, you know I really like Bernie. Um, but this community does give you great access to both the rim, which has some big box stores in it, some nice restaurants, uh, the Palladium movie theater, really nice. And uh, got the Bass Pro Shop right there. It's either Bass Pro Shop or Outdoor World. I forget, but similar things. Um, but lots of shopping there. You do have Six Flags, Fiesta Texas, right here as well. And of course, you've got the Lock and Terra Shopping Center, which has the Neiman Marcus, Louis Vuitton type stores, with also some really nice restaurants and uh, for that caliber of shopping. Where people don't realize that folks fly in from Mexico just to go shopping at the Lock and Terra shopping area just because, well, they don't have a lot of Louis Vuitton stores in Mexico and it's cheaper to come to come this way. Oh, we're back up by the model here. All right, we're gonna go hit the other side. I don't wanna drone on too much. air conditioner down so hopefully you can still hear me but yeah just it was really it's not the biggest neighborhoods but it's a very nice neighborhood um, because and some great builders in here uh, Bel Air is the other builder that uh, right now Bel Air builds in the next communities I'm not sure who the other builder is that was building here because Rialto is the only model home that's in here, but I don't think that these are all Rialto homes. Because some of these homes have been here for a little while, especially on this side. Yeah, these definitely look like they've been around for a little bit, but very nice. Every lawn is very well kept. People like to wave. That's always a good thing. kind of goes to a gate to the other neighborhood that's going to have the Guillen homes and the Bel Air homes uh, in the next community there. All right, we can head on up this way. Like I said, some nice topography, so you can definitely get some exercise walking uh, up and down these hills. So you don't need a whole jogging trail. There's not a huge amount of traffic in this neighborhood because it's not so big. It's, you're only gonna have the people that actually live in this neighborhood driving around in it. So not having sidewalks isn't a big deal because you're just not gonna have a whole lot of traffic driving around, especially as the construction aspect ends. 
but uh yeah you can get your morning walks in your jogs in and get some good exercise on these hills I think that was the road that goes back up to the main area. So we've pretty much covered this whole neighborhood now. Um, like I said, there's only three houses available to be purchased and two of them are already mostly built. And I don't know the stage of the third one. So if you're looking to get something that might be able to move in, one of them I think is move in ready. Um, the other one might be still like three or four months out. So if you are interested in moving to this community, if it sounds like something you're interested in, reach out to me um, because those last three homes won't last long. All right, yep, back at the Rialto model here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now because I can just be droning on and on about everything, but uh, if you like these videos, I know this one's not the most exciting, but make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I definitely appreciate you guys doing that and hit that like button, even if this is kind of one of my boring videos. But uh, I definitely appreciate all the people who do follow me. It kind of blows my mind. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for now. I'll talk to you soon. Take care now, bye. Like I said before I do wrap it up, I do wanna kind of show just the driving out of the neighborhood just because it is a, it's a, what is it, 3 August? I mean, 3, yeah, good God, it's August already, 3 August. So, yeah, now we're coming out of the community and uh, don't really want to be showing driving on the highway because that's even more boring than this video already is. So, uh, but, yeah, to our left, you have San Antonio 1604, where you're going to have the Six Flags, Lock and Terror on the rim, and to our right is downtown historical Bernie, Texas. All right, I'm going to wrap it up then. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.